Good morning, guys. Welcome it to Sunday. It is glorious outside. Actually hot out. The horse is on the field. Ellie had a bath today. Look at how cute she looks. Come here, Ellie. Come here. Come here. Ellie, <laughs> come here. All right, sit. Sit. All right, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on there. She is shiny and sleek and soft for literally the two seconds that she's gonna be out here with me because she's just gonna roll in the dirt. She rolls in the dirt. It is actually scorching hot out. Yesterday was supposed to be 25 degrees, which is really warm. And then it was like 16 and it was not very warm and we were at a horse show, but today it's actually hot. Sadly, Chino is the inside horse right now because he is a laminitis risk on grass. So last year he didn't get to go on grass. This year he's not gonna get to go on grass. No, we're sorry, we're sorry. Oh my goodness, where's your owner? Look at that hair coming off. I'm gonna get something and groom you. How it works is that when the horses are outside in the morning, he's in the arena, and then they all come in at lunchtime to cool down and have a break from the grass, and then he's with them, and then he's with them all day until they go out again, and then he's with them at night. And it's just unfortunate having a horse that's like a laminitis risk is not fun for him more than for us. Managing him is like a full-time job, but it's okay. We love him. Come here, let me see that head. Oh my goodness, you see your girl? Did your girl come in? Gabby takes him out of here too. He doesn't just sit in the field. The barrier comes next week, and we're hoping that after that, we'll be able to do more with him. <laughs> Sophie's out in the field playing with her mini. Are, are we putting the horses in? Now, our plan for Chino, once the horses are out like most of the day on grass, we'll keep Willow inside with him. So he always has a friend. Are we bringing the horses in? Yeah. Are we? Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Today's Sunday and I, so I've been trying to ride for like three days. I'm excited to ride. I listened to a lot of your guys' comments. Let's run honey up the hill first. And I'm excited to like implement some of them. I swear honey up the hill first. So I'm definitely gonna take some lessons. I just Can don't know. I just don't know where, like, I, what kind of lessons I want to take. I don't want to take Western Pleasure, even though I can see how it would benefit me. You know what? I don't want to take, like, English. I want to take, like, trail. Like, like extreme trail and stuff like that. Can you grab Gracie so I can take Honey up the hill? Yeah, I'll watch her. This halter is too small for Honey now. It's too small? Yeah. Which one is that? Is that the one somebody sent us? No, this is mine. This is one we this bought? Well, she's a baby and they grow. That's because that's, that's <laughs> Hi, Elves! So my son and his girlfriend were here last night and um, his girlfriend rode Storm. And she took all these pictures of the horses. They were being so super cute, especially Gracie and the baby. They were literally like snuggling. They snuggle. So Gabby thinks we should get a grain bucket and shake it because she and I don't want to go all the way down there. It might not look that far to you guys because I have the camera. Oh no, I don't have it zoomed in. Well, it's far, trust me. Listen, you had a bath. I want you to stay clean for one day. <laughs> I'm waiting for Gabby to bring me some, some grain and see if it works. Let's see if it works. Look at how cute my Yorkie is. Sit, sit. <laughs> whenever, whenever I squat down, honestly, she goes under my legs. <laughs> So she's like, shade! And oddly enough, because these two have the most energy and they follow us everywhere, they are starting to play together. So all this time I've like worried and worried because Molly hates Ellie and it's working itself out. Like last night, Molly, um, Nick's girlfriend threw the ball for Molly and Molly let Ellie get it. And she has been asking Ellie to play with her a few times. So slowly but surely it is working. It's working, huh? All right, so the predictions are storm is gonna, storm's gonna come to the sound of the grain, but we don't think Penny's gonna. All right, here we go. So I think this is how she used to have him trained. Grain or grass? Your choice, Stormy boy. Come here. Shake it. Oh. It's not really loud. It's not loud. Storm! Come here. Come on. 
Is he gonna do it? He comes running at me. Don't push me in front of you. <laughs> I'm, o I'm over those days. Stop. I don't push people in front of me anymore. Now I stand up to those horses. Storm! Penny's looking like she wants to. Go. Come on! Put it down on the ground. Storm! I mean, it's Penny's bucket. And you're flipping and green everywhere. Yeah, I know. Gabby thinks I'm gonna push her in front of me. <gasps> oh. It's not a lucky day and it's boiling hot. No, go put it back in the nest. It wasn't in the nest, it put was it, on the ground. That doesn't matter, put it in the nest and let's let the mom hatch it. All right, it's not working. <laughs> let's get the bell. So here's bell. the thing. The horses know that they're going in. So they're not gonna come just for a little bit of grain. Oh, Willow's out there too. Oh, he's, <laughs> after you walked halfway, back up, back up. Back up! Oh, and here comes Penny too. Come run, Gabby! He's, th he's thinking about it. It's possible he's scared of the grain bucket. <laughs> here he comes! Yeah! It worked! Okay, let him have it now so that we can let him have it. Oh, and here comes Willow. Yeah, Willow and here comes Penny! Give them all a little. Yes. Good boy. Here, let me grab some. Give her a little bit because she came. Willow just came because she Good girl. Just a little. She's like, I don't trust you. Come on, Pen! Come on, you're the last one! You're making me look bad! Come on! Come on! So, I want to ride today, but I also want to work on a trail trailering, make sure she still remembers, which means I need to work on my target practice with her. Uh, because we're going, trail season starts hopefully this week, you guys. Well, thank you. Good girl. Come on, if you want more, come with me. Come on. Come on. Target. Good girl. Target. Come on. Come on, Penny. Touch the target. Good girl, yeah. I literally looked up and I couldn't find Ellie anywhere. I was thinking, oh my gosh, my little trained dog disappeared, but she was sitting right there in the tall grass. Horses are looking sleek and shiny with their summer coat. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can see it. Do you guys think Storm's gaining at all? His butt definitely looks bigger, I feel like. More like his quarter horse butt. <laughs> Good job, Minnie. <laughs> this is where she. <laughs> this is where she sleeps. I'm not. Oops. Well, that's not good. That's how you get yourself stuck. But this is where she sleeps every day. When we bring her in, she lays down in the sun and sunbays. There you go. Horses are all gonna chill out in here because this is where they love to be because it's shady. Be good, we'll be back. I honestly can't tell if Storm's gaining. He definitely, like he, was, he didn't look horrible when we brought him home. So it's hard for me to set, tell like a huge difference. I can still see a little bit of rib on him, but that that's not unusual. Um, but I feel like his bum is filling in a little bit more, but I honestly can't tell. And our vet always tells us like when you're trying to put weight on a horse, to always go super slow and let him do it himself which is basically what we're doing like we're not going super slow we're not like we're just letting him eat what he feels comfortable with but I never realized before how so cute my pony is with those big white socks like look at how lucky I am I'm so lucky to have you penny girl all right we're gonna go 
Um, we're going to do a little bit of shopping. I don't really want to do shopping today because it's so nice out and I have a lot to do. Here is a story for you guys. I'm in Gabby's car. I got a snack. These are the leftover tomatoes I didn't eat at the horse show yesterday. So long ago, like 16 years ago, I think, um, I had my very first baby girl. I lived an entire life with baby boys. Three boys. Uh, the oldest was 18 when Gabby was finally born. I had a girl finally. I was so excited. And one of my dreams about having a girl would be that I would be able to like share books with her when she grew up because I'm like an avid reader. I'm reading is like my true passion, my true everything. I read so much, so often, have my whole entire life, even when I was a little girl. When I was a little girl, I would always like my parents would be like, Well, sorry, play, you're reading too much. I never say that to my kid, but anyway. So, uh, fast forward, I had Gabby and she was a baby, and I have pictures of her. And and she would like take her book, she loved her books on her bookshelf and she would read them to her stuffed animals like when she was really tiny, like even 10 months old. She carried books around with her and then she got older and she got like more into the internet and video games and I thought, oh my gosh, like here I have a daughter finally and she's never gonna read. <laughs> but then I had a dream, God always tells me stuff in a dream. I had a dream, like I was a teenager and she was laying in her bedroom and she was reading books and I was like, wow, she like gets that from me. But only one other out of five kids, only one other one reads. My oldest son and my oldest daughter are both the readers in the family, but it makes me so happy that she likes to read. She bought three books, three books or four books the other day and she's out of books four. now. Four. How many have you read? Four. She read all four. She so. ran out. She ran out. Sophie, on the other hand, doesn't care about books. She likes books. Yeah. Only but she's hard. not like, she's like Sam. Sam's never read a book in her life and Sophie doesn't like to read if she doesn't have to read, but she's getting more into it now. Aren't you? Yeah. Gabby's first car wash, you guys. This is her car. Getting clean. Gabby likes a clean car. All right, what did we get? And then Sophia wants to. You got like a ton of books. She's also going to read them though. That's what she said. Is that what she said? Sophia wants these two. All right, what did you get? Um, they don't Manga? have number four of this one or else I would have gotten it. So I got Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, more Chainsaw Man. And Comey Kick, Comey Kick, number three. So that's the one I need. All right. And then next week we'd have to come back and get more no, books. In two days. Two days. Hopefully, number four is here though. Maybe we should order online. I never got my ten dollar off coupon. I said I was gonna get. That kind of sucks. But at least I get ten percent off. All right, let's go pay. Today I want to tackle this section of the barn. We're gonna ride in a little bit when it gets a little bit warmer. I mean, a little bit cooler because it's pretty hot out. So long ago, when we used to have a trailer. Uh, we bought all these big, huge, giant, floaty things. Actually, this is not one. And this is not one. These are something different, which I'm probably going to keep. But, and this is a tent. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff today. We're going to put it in the dumpster and clean up this area of the barn. I also am going to get rid of our oldest booster seat. We have this booster seat. And we don't need it. But do you guys remember this giant swan? Oh, this is a little swan. This was the giant swan. Oh. Wow, it is heavy. All right, so we got rid of most of that stuff. That's my diatomaceous earth, which I like for the chickens. It's good for keeping bugs away. And those are my balls that we're going to use this summer with the grandkids. They love them. And mostly it's cleaned up. I need to like, we still need to get rid of some of this stuff because I want this feed room to just be one like clean feed room. In fact, it would be so much better if I could push this feed table all the way up against this wall and then have all that space. And then over on this wall is our summer beach stuff and my car seats, my booster seats for my grandkids. But these are all our beach and pool stuff, all of our floaties, all of our stuff that we take to the beach. This is Chino's fan box. <laughs> Sam's going to hang it up in his stall. And then this stuff is Sam's and he's getting rid of it. We actually, Sophie and I want to ride like so bad. We're going to do it a little bit later because it is scorching hot. 
like so hot you can't even believe it. It's just insane out there right now. I do want to make sure my horse will load in the trailer. Uh, in the spring, early, early spring, I was doing a lot of like target training with her. That's how I got her to train. To, that's how I trained her to go on the trailer religiously. So today we're going to see if she actually will do it. Sophie and I always make our way down to the barn. Even when we're not like doing- She's all dirty again. Like if there's any time of the day- I'm so glad we're all chasing I know, she rolled. I watched her roll. I said, your mom's gonna be mad at you. Don't roll. I am. Just joking. She's just joking. We know I she still needs love to you, roll. but- Now let's get all the hair off. It doesn't come off. It does. Like it's just slow. Stop floofing it back up. I know, but look. Stop it. I'm gonna get something else and try it. You are looking so cute. <laughs> The spray stuff I got works really good for him. You like it? I can smell it. It's supposed to be really good for bugs and stuff. And it, like, it makes it look smooth. And yeah, be a uh, conditioner. Some of your hair be... <laughs> her and Honey remind me of each other so much. Who's her and Honey? Honey and Ellie remind me of each other so much. You're gonna be so cute. Look at those eyeballs. All right, so Sophie wants to see if her baby just walks right up, and she still does. <laughs> she does, she's such a good baby. And she's been a dream. And we had lots of like things that we had to like overcome when we first got her. And we had to learn about a lot of stuff, and it's been like the best experience learning. Ellie. Ellie, get out of there. Come on, Allie out. You're such a good baby. for it spring trailer training with penny i had her going so perfectly i like worked so hard at this i worked so hard at this you guys and now she's like no i don't want to go on there it's so weird though because this horse has like such an extensive travel history and yet she doesn't want to go on her trailer i'll get there so how i did it last time the only way i managed to get her to, to do it was by me target training her and so I haven't been target training her for weeks now and I did it this morning in the in the field and she did it but just kind of half. Come on. Girl. Have a break. Almost up. Good girl. Yeah so that's another thing I did. I always like if she was going to back off I always made sure I did it before she got to choose. The problem is it's way too hot in the trailer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we know, Penny. It's not your favorite place. 
is way too hot. Sophie and I are dying. I have literally sweat pouring down my face. That's how hot it is today. Yesterday I was freezing, I had to wear a jacket or a sweater, and today it's boiling hot. Yesterday I was Yesterday was not bad. Give me a week, guys. Give me a week. Yeah.